Finian McGrath, Manny McGrath, thanks very much for coming into the journal.ie. It's great to have you here. We're going to start with Finian, and you're going to tell us why people should vote for you as an Independent Alliance candidate. And you have one minute starting now. Thank you, Hugh. Uh, my name is uh, Finian McGrath, and the Independent TD for Dublin Bay North. I'm standing in this election on, on very, very important issues. Issues like health, education, disability, small businesses, and the, and the local issue of Dublin Bay. I came into politics uh, from the community voluntary sector. I'm a former full-time voluntary worker with the Simon community. I'm also currently a, a voluntary director of the Northside Centre for the Unemployed and a former chairperson of, of uh, the Down Syndrome Association Dublin. So when I come into politics, I come in with a strong track record of direct involvement in the issues that I talk about. So I'm also part of the Independent Alliance, which means a group of independent TDs we are staying independent, but we're working very, very closely in a loose alliance to put forward uh, an alternative, to put forward reforms, radical changes, hard work, honest politics, and also to create a new future and vision for this country. Okay, thank you very much, Finian. Matty McGrath, you also have 60 seconds to say why people should vote for you as an independent. Thank you, Hugh. Matty McGrath, Tipperary. I have stood in politics for t South Tipperary, West Waterford in the last election. Now the situation has changed and we're all counter Tipperary together. I look forward to if the electorate choose me as one of their five TDs for all of Tipperary, being a hard and direct advocate for the people's issues. Many, many issues from ordinary working people, uh, community affairs, also uh, the people who are suffering in mortgage distress and the treatment that are getting at the hands of the banks and indeed receivers in that whole area. I will be a strong and fearless and tireless advocate on the floor of Darlene as an independent vice, which I was elected to in 2011, having served in a party all my life really from um, 1976 until, uh, until five years ago. I see the value of being an independent vice. I have no whip, I have no people telling me what to do, what I can say, when I say it. I bring the issues to the floor of Dáil Éireann and I forget the opportunity to do that again in the forthcoming election. I will do it with, with, the, high, with the best of uh, intentions. Okay, thank you very much, Matty. Now, lads, Finney, I'll come to you first. Does the Independent not Alliance not defeat the purpose of being independent? You're tying yourself to a set of principles, whereas Matty is free to act in the interests of his constituents at all times. You see, I think there's a lot of confusion among a lot of people about their word independent lines. I'm still an independent uh, TD running in Dublin Bay North. That's the first thing. We've, of course, we work together. I've, I've been chairperson of the Technic Group for the last five years in the Dáil, which is many, many different ranges of, in, of independence. And we've worked very well together. But to go back to the indep independent lines question, we have agreed uh, a, a, a charter with 10 sets of principles out there. And to the broader, of course, I'll always retain my independence. I will always vote on the issues that I want to vote on and that's the bottom line so I'm not giving up my stance as an independent I think people are convinced are, are mixing up independent alliance with a political party we are challenging the parties we're sick and tired of the party we stand for new politics reform and also new ideas and this is one of the new ideas okay Maddie, that's fair enough isn't it oh, yes and I wish him well I would not wish him any ill will I was part of the technical group until about a year and a half ago when because of different issues that I had, you know, many issues I was turfed out. But look, uh, Finney and... Did you turf him out, Finney? No, I did not. <laughs> uh, when, Absolutely when I not. I was unceremoniously removed from the health committee and the, uh, the, the communications committee. And look, that's past tense. We have had a technical group. What? The jury's out on that. But we're going to have confusion now. The party system has been an utter failure in this country. I think, uh, and with all due respect to the, Shane and all the lads, Tom Fleming, good friends of mine, I wish him no ill will, but I think the confusion of the electorate. An independent is an independent. It does what it says in the tin. You stand up and represent your constituency. And I make no apologies for representing my constituency. That's who will elect me. That's who I'm answerable to. I talk to Dala, literally meaning a messenger by I represent the people of Tipperary, all of Tipperary, if I'm elected. I think we're confusing here. Even the 10 uh, pints that they made or yesterday of the 10 pint plan, there was confusion amongst themselves yesterday. Finney, they said that Deputy Ross said that none of them were more important than the other. Finney said, I think it was six and eight or something. Or his, and I know they are his principles from his uh, dealing with him, the doll and the floor always, but there is going to be confusion. Mm -hmm. And the go I think the government, if they're short five or six or three or four, they're going to look at ordinary. Do you know what, uh, in the, in the pins, as it says in the tin, and do There's individuals, no do individual uh, deals. 
on that situation there's, if necessary. There's okay. absolutely no uh, confusion about the issues. Of course, yesterday at the launch, I talked about the issues that I feel very strongly about health, disability, equality in Irish society. I'm just coming from a meeting this morning in Trinity College where there was a campaign for the rights of people with disabilities, an excellent uh, campaign meeting where all the audience was all disabled okay. people. So what I'm saying is, of course I'll focus on this issue, but there's no contradiction between working for your constituents and working very hard on behalf of the people of Dublin, but also having a national vision. We also have a national vision. You have to have reform, you have to have new politics, because there's about 25% But surely, of Matty, I mean, there, there are principles which Matty could get behind as well. All, well, the, all politicians are no. in favour of reform yes. and of, of No, 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 but I've, we've put and forward that. concrete proposals you in relation to those issues. We've put pro like forward... What? Like Like, for example, well, exactly my whole area on the disability. I, I, I'm the person that, that managed to convince the Ireland to support my bill, Equality of Access Down Syndrome bill there, uh, two years years ago. So we have lots of ideas about reforming the ju judiciary, reforming uh, public services, get dealing with the health issue. I mean, you have a Minister for Health that doesn't get it, okay. that we need beds in our hospitals. Okay, Matty, um, would you, you said there about if, if the government are three or four seats short, they might cut a deal with genuine independence. Yes. So such as yourself. Genuine. So if the so government... I, re I reject that. Hang on. Uh, we're all uh, well, genuine. Well, he described it, he characterised them as no, genuine that's, independence. That's Matty's view. Yeah. Right. That's Matty's well, view. Everybody is a genuine... Uh, right, let's, let's talk to Matty group, now, Finian, all right? a collective group of genuine independents who want to work together and not kind of... Uh, we want to put forward ideas and principles that the people will agree oh, with. Okay, Matty. Would you support the, the government then on every vote if you could cut a side deal with them, similar to the way, say, Jackie Healy Ray cut a deal with Bertie Ahern, get a good deal for temporary? Well, I don't would want to be categorised dead, but just to go back to what, what Finney just said about. Well, deal with that point first, and of then course, go back to. I would, of course, if I get a deal for temporary, I'm repre I represent temporary, I make no apologies for that, all of temporary now, and of course, and I will, provided that uh, there's, mod there's a modicum of respect for the independents, for the people who I represent, and we get a fair shake. So what do you want, you want roads, schools, all yeah. that kind of Certainly stuff? Certainly I want infrastructure, I want investment in Tiberiary, which we have been lacking with the Golden <coughs> Bay and the Premier County, but it's not being treated as that, and, and as other, many other parts of rural Ireland and either. Mm. And uh, it, the, the island doesn't stop at the M50. And we want um, schools, we want infrastructure, we want investment. We just have a huge issue with a factory in Borough East. There are 140 people unceremoniously reading it through the media. And I want to thank you um, and your office here. Just your account of the, of the presentation yesterday that I read on the journal, when I saw there was Damon O'Flynn was saying he'd work with Sinn Féin. Uh, Deputy Ross said he wouldn't. <coughs> There's going to be those issues. And you yeah, know, know it's sorry. And, uh, and let, me, let me finish. What's wrong with yeah, that? No, Get no, but, over it. No, but getting back to genuine. I, take, I'll, I won't use the word genuine, so I'll use a hybrid independent. You couldn't, going to be so. you couldn't last a wet week in the technical room. Wait now, wait now, wait now. He, wasn't. Oh, no, he I left there. his own free will, and no. that's the reality. No, Finian, you, were, support, you were supporting the government some years ago, and you ran well, away from the left I, and behind I, right. I, I, had issue, yes. lines, I had red line issues. I know you had. Oh, Senior like, citizens, okay, disabilities. Yeah, right. I stood my ground. But, I wasn't like yeah, an imperfect. <coughs> I walked on well, the issues that I felt well, very strong And I'm very proud okay. of that, by the way. Well, and I got re-elected on that. That's going to happen. Matty, the Independent Alliance is trying to do something Yes. Very different, right? They're trying to get genuine power. They're trying to get seats at cabinet. They're going to try to influence government policy. All you're interested in is parish pump politics. No. A good deal for your constituents. And I have you no. Don't care about the national picture. And I don't mind being described as parish pump politics. Every politician in the door that gets elected this time will have to have a track record of delivering. Otherwise, they won't get elected. The people of representing the people, whether it be on disabilities, whether it be on farming in my area, whether it be on um, uh, repossessions, and stop the horror and, and have reform of the judiciary, which you don't have. Mm. And Deputy Ross did try and introduce. A private members bill on the judicial council. I have brought in five private members bills in this door. As a member of a party, I couldn't get time to do that. As a member of an alliance as well, people will have to. Which I support you, by the way. Yes, of course. And many other people did in the door as well, but the government uh, rejected them all by one. And the point I'm trying to make is that if if it comes down to, the, uh, and there's 10 elected or 21 a year, and I wish you all well, you'll have to fire up for time. Like you said, if any said, the meeting's going on at the moment in the technical group, and to who gets what time where and when. So just difficulty will arise there. There arose yesterday again when people were asked to put their hands up and want to be in Cabinet. I read in different publications before Christmas that Finney and Shane were going to be in Cabinet, but a lady put her hand up and said, I think she went. That's my, re my understanding of the report yesterday. There's different ideologies. There's wide, very wide and varied, and I don't see it working. Otherwise, I'd have been in it. Uh, yeah. I've been asked several times, <coughs> and Finney won't deny this, was I interested in Giant, would I join, by both himself and Shane and others. 
I didn't because an independent is an independent. I still have the marks of equivalent. But independence here, can I, can, I, can I come back in here now, Hugh? Yeah. But independence, can I put a point like to you myself, though? yeah, can I just finish the okay. point, just to finish my... The, the point about the independent alliance is sending out a message to the public and the electorate Confusing that them. independence can work together on particular issues. And that's good for the country, it's mm. good for society, but it's also good How for okay. the, well, your own you, constituency. You so you yeah. work with Sinn Féin, wouldn't you? Well, I, I don't do uh, uh, political snobbery in any way. If people are elected to the doll mm. by the citizens' sake, I have an open mind in who I sit down and talk so you do with. A deal so the answer, I do a deal. With with, well, so well, that's a problem straight away. But that's yes, not yes. a problem. That's not a problem for me. What would happen it's in that situation? No, no, hold on a second now. You see, you're, you're kind of uh, you're you're dismissing issues because people have different viewpoints. At the end of the day, if 10 or 15 independent alliance TDs get elected, they will decide who they'll sit down and negotiate. They're the ones that got the mandate. And in that situation, I would go with the majority view. And that's life. Okay. And we're open to that kind of politics. So but the, we're not tying ourselves down. There's so no, there's no, there's no absolute. Well, majority view, there is. You're not oh, I'm just saying, we're Democrats, governed by majority. If you, if you, no, if you send off a team to negotiate, I, I am making myself no, very clear. Not. If you send off elective. a team, that's what no, they, if you the sit off I a have. team to well, negotiate well, and they come back with a package, you sit down and you agree, like we do every Tuesday at half twelve in the technical group, we allocate speaking time to people who want to speak on rural issues, disability issues, health, and then we get on with our lives. So and that's life. Okay, yeah. Matthew, what about you? Would you cut a deal with Sinn Féin? Or any party for that matter? I mean, I'm not going to demonize Sinn Féin, certainly, but I, just to go back to the group, uh, I've been watching... Would you take that point though yes. first and then go back to the group? Um, would would I, I mean, would you be prepared I to negotiate said, with any look, party? I have said, look, if I'm elected, lucky enough to be elected and privileged enough to be elected for temporary mm. and see the numbers game, I will sit down and talk to whatever groupings that are there in an effort to form a stable government. And what the people what I am canvassing want is really, they can't bear the thought of being the Kenny being Taoiseach for another five years. There are people I'm meeting on the doors, and to mention the Labour Party. So look, we'll have to wait and see what's thrown up. But what I want going out to the electorate is a, an opportunity for them to vote for independence. Uh, this is, and, and, and the word confusion was first mentioned today by Finney himself. No, that, no, 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 we can go back, on the, we'll go back on, the, on the audio. 100%. You said the confusion around this is blame, yeah. blaming the media. No, no. No, you're going to, no you're I wasn't blaming you. I was blaming you and people who. Finney, like you never, you never do on the independent alliance. You never do on a farmer's field. You can't. You can't. You, so you, can, you guys can't get over that independents can sit down and work together on so I ten down my core t-shirt. principles. No. I know it's all about the, in, the, in relation to the independent alliance. And that's the modern politics. No. People enjoy difference, diversity. Let's get on with it. You'd never do if you're a farmer sitting so on seed potatoes because you set all different ones and confuse the seeds. We wouldn't have any kind of a, a crop. So I don't think it's worth it's worth well, I mean, and, it's, and that's only my view certainly yes, okay. I've been watching Shane Ross and admiring him for decades and he was a member of Inigale for a long time so he knows what the party system is like I admire him on his policies but there are a thousand miles apart from Finney and some other John Halligan and others on, on financial issues and, and issues of banking Did you rejoin Fianna Fáil? No I haven't been asked to rejoin Fianna Fáil or I didn't ask to join Fianna Fáil and they've lost their way as far as I'm concerned okay. and I don't want to sound like Neil Bainey but if they come back to the values they stood for I, I'm, I'll be there they left me rather than I left them and that's why I don't want to be in a group. I want my independence. Clearly, if I'm elected by the people as an independent vice, I won't have to consult a panty whip. I won't have to consult some of the lads, no uh, some of the lads that are headhunters in districts. Is this okay or not okay? That's oh. a fair point, though, for you, isn't it? That's but listening to the argument of, uh, of, of this. <coughs> the independent alliance. What happens? Can I just put an example to you? Can I just answer? Can I just put this example yeah, okay. to you, right? Let's say, take a moment. You said yeah. you support the government on emotional confidence. Yes. Yes. If you and financial issues. And financial issues. Yes. Okay, but what if one of your membership disagrees with the government on? financial issues well, or on emotional well, confidence uh, that, that, are they then kicked I out of the independent alliance I, I can't preempt what's going to happen in the future in relation to that I mean no, there's people I'm, I'm, who walk see, we're the looking at situations here because we're not sure what the independent alliance is well, it's, know, a the it's a new confusion. type of radical thing in, in Irish politics so yeah. we're asking how on a practical level it would work so if there's emotional confidence in the government and yes. let's say yourself and Shane and all the others agree to back the government but there's say one or two TDs in the independent alliance who don't want to back the government what happens to them? Well, then they fa- the, it's, the person falls overboard, and that's the reality. Oh. So, oh, if, so they're if, kicked if, out of the if, if, alliance? If, if, no, if they signed up to the principles, and if, 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 if an so agreement, a programme for government so is made, well, then what we do is we, we, we fight on those. Part- the, the, the issues in, in the programme for government are the, is- are the key issues, right? It sounds and we stand like, up. like a party. Rest my it case. doesn't sound like a party. When, you have the when it comes to legislation, then, when you have we the get, there's lots of bills. Can you pull it off there, one? You might get this one. Can I answer the question? When it comes to the reality, 
reality of the legislation going through the whole the house then we have different views and then we accommodate difference in diversity and what's wrong with that i think they do it in other parliaments so i think we need to focus on that it's a new brand of politics and people need to accept that and open their minds because a lot of people in the establishment in this country right across all, are not open to new ideas we're trying to put forward new ideas the independent alliance can show that people from different backgrounds can hammer out uh, agreements on certain issues and what's wrong with that okay Matthew, yes to finish. go back to just go back to the vote of no confidence in the government you said i stepped back back two steps further there was two votes of no confidence in minister shatter at the time mm. and what happened if they if, like and we saw what happened to him he fell on his sword he should have gone at that time but he didn't so if if, if one of the people didn't finish he just said it or two didn't agree with didn't back the government and an issue like that about a person a minister mm -hmm. which clearly and phil hogan was another one so then they fall over the table so i rest my case as i said Sinn Féin cancelled the rod the, the bookings might be still there, whatever hall they were having it. Maybe you'd have year one there. We had our long invite me, you know, but your party, we don't, don't know. Just, no, we don't use the word Just party. put the name Absolutely on the book, which is there on the line. The independent alliance. And the whip is there. It's an alliance of, an alliance of people who can, can work together, who come from different right, backgrounds. You said that already, so let Matthew, future, let Matthew it's, finish. A, it's, a, it's a new idea in Irish politics. Brilliant. Why are you all just trying to destroy Brilliant. it? Because you're afraid of it. Why not? No, I'm certainly not afraid of it. 15 seconds. Yeah, we had an experience this recently where Jerry Beads was looking for a nomination for the Senate. He got commitments, solid commitments from two people in the life that they back him and yes there was a meeting had kind of been in, in shane's office and the buys went for cover is that true been, that's true so, well, I, would, I wouldn't touch uh, that particular person's nomination for a 40 foot poll because uh, you asked it's the people, the people, asked the people two, in two, richmond we're, road we're, about what has happened to their two houses members, we're two members pressured not to vote for him two members, members. Yes. We're two members that, that's, that's, that's just one that happened Matty, that's one of matty's fairy tales no it's not absolutely we're all going up people can make and remember he only wanted to get into the democratic process he's a great man for spinning fairy tales you know that all right Finally. I hope this won't be the, hope this won't be the fairy tale of the year, 2016. Finally. Yeah. Finian, ask a question of Matty, and Matty, you can ask a question of Finian. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Matty, how's the campaign going down in Tipperary? The campaign is great because the people are confused. They clearly understand what I stand for. I stand to represent them, to bring their views uh, to Dublin, to the Parliament, if they re-elect me. And if they don't re-elect me, I will still work with them in community issues, as I always did. What do you want to ask Finney? I want to ask Finney, and look, as I said, you didn't stick the second last government, you bailed out halfway through. How long do you think uh, this new party, or the new, new agenda was the old man, the workers' party, had one time, what did I call it? The hybrid, how long do you think it will last? Well, first of all, I don't like the tone of your question, but uh, I think that? I think that first of all, it's very difficult to get elected as an independent TD, as you know well yourself. But, but to go about back to the issue, I, on, I think it's answer. refreshing to see a group of TDs and councillors, new candidates, trying to come into politics, agreeing on ten core principles that's trying to tr radically change Irish politics. And I say that's the future, and let's look at it and have a go at it. How long do you think it'll last? You can answer the question. Uh, if you want, in relation to the, if, if people agree, if the mainstream political parties hammer out a programme, it'll definitely last five years. Lads, thank you very much.